Okay, let's talk websites. First thing, when I click on your website, I want to know exactly what it is that you offer, what you can do, and the services that you provide within the first 30 seconds of reading. If it's not there, they're going to click away. The next thing I want to know is what areas you provide services for. Get this on your first page, and then I want you to put it on every single page. You can put it in a footer, you can put it in your description, you can put it in um, your course or your, your text for that page. That's really super important because people want to know where it is you serve and that's going to help you with your search engine optimization too. Another thing I want you to do is go to your about you page. If your about you page is about your family, about your children, about your husband, get that information off of it or put it at the bottom. When I go to your about you page or when a customer goes to the about you page, they want to see your bona fides. Make sure they can see them and they know what it is that you offer, what your education is and what your experience is. Let people know. When I go to the information about your services, make sure it's clear. Make sure that you're using words people use. Things like birth assistant, things like birth services can sometimes be ambiguous. So drop in the words that you're a doula, that you're a postpartum doula, childbirth educator. Whatever it is that you do, use those words. Link to your training organizations. Let people know that you're trained. Let people know that you've got the skills to help them. Tell them, how can I help you? Answer those questions. Because when people come to your website, that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for um, pictures of you giving birth. They're not looking for your thoughts, feelings, and your heart on certain issues. They want to know what it is that you do. You can add that information, but find a better way to do it. Put it at the bottom of the page, put it on a page that's like my birth story off of your about you page. There's lots of things that you can do that if you really feel like you have it in your heart to share all this information, that you do it in a way that gives them that information after they know how great you are in everything that you can offer. Put your email address on every page in your contact information. Don't write out your email ad address, super fabulous doula, space, the word at, gmail, space, the word dot, space, com. No one's going to follow that. If you have a form on your contact page, that's great, but also give them another way to get in touch with you. Give them your phone number, give them your email address. That's really important. Forms are notorious for not working properly, number one. Number two, a lot of people won't fill out a form. It's just the way it is. Believe me, this is 20 plus years of experience talking to you. I had my first website as a business owner in 1996. Take advantage of this information because I'm telling you some truths. If you have a blog, it's okay to have it linked on your website. It's okay to have it linked on the front page, but your blog shouldn't be your central focus. People should be able to access everything that you offer from your front page and go directly to the services that you're providing from there. I know sometimes it's really hard because we want to share our journey, how we got to where we're going, and why we do what we do. That's really important information, but that's secondary information to the client. The client wants to know, is she a good doula for me? Can this doula work with me? Can this birth practitioner help me with my situation? That's the information you always have to present first. Make sure your logo is clear. Make sure your business name is clear. And make sure your name is clear. Your website is the first thing people see about you and your brand. So it's really important that you present a fully comprehensive website. 
Some website services, um, the ones that have really easy templates, I'm not going to talk about any particular brands, <clears throat> but they will not be so great in indexing in search engines. So what I want you to do is make sure all that stuff's in your text. That's one way to get around that issue, is to have it in the body of your website. So if you are Birth Arts International Certified Doula, trained doula, practicing doula, whatever words you want to use, make sure that that's in your text also. Make sure that all of your images have alt tags. So if you have an image on your birth doula services page, make sure that your alt tag says so-and-so birth doula business name or something like that. So that's also indexed in the search engines. Getting your website indexed in search engines is the best way to help with your search engine optimization. That happens through text. Everything is changing. It's not just about submitting your business to search engines. It's not just about having um, good links. It's really about content now. So make sure your content covers all of that. That's really important for people to be able to see that. That's really important for your business and for you. I know that sometimes we really want to make our websites truly personal, but you are not the person you're selling to. Either are the doulas in your community. It needs to be personal for every single person who comes to visit your website. So start thinking about them and writing your content for them. I hope this helps. Have a great morning and excuse the bedhead.